I welcome you into a new day. Jesus is Lord and his Lordship is forever. Can we just go ahead and appreciate him? Give him the glory, give him the praise. He is the Almighty God. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He is the Balm of Gilead. He is the everlasting God. He is the King in Zion. Glorify him. Appreciate him. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Give him the praise, give him the glory. He is the Lamb that sitteth upon the mercy seat, whose mercy is in endure it forever. Let's appreciate him. Life is a gift. Every gift requires an appreciation. We worship you, the almighty God. The everlasting life. The life giver. You are the only wise God. We join the 20 and the four elders, including the four beasts, to exalt the name of Jesus, to glorify the name of Jesus, to appreciate you for a day like this. My friend, open your mouth and appreciate him. You did not pay him any dime to see a new day. Glorify him. For free oxygen, Jehovah, we say thank you. Thank you for being a covering over our hands. Thank you for being the lifter up of our hands. We exalt the fourth man in the fire. Kalia Kagadabagadasha, the glory of the burning bush. You are beautiful in all seasons. You are the God that relates in the face of men. Thank you, the captain of our destiny. Thank you, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that healeth all our diseases. Malia Kagada Bagado We give you honor, we give you praise. You are faithful, too faithful to fail us. Malia Kagada Bagado Your name is Ebenezer. Malia Our stone of help. Malia Kagada Bagado We say big thank you to you, our God. Zikatia Kagada Bagado Thank you for giving us victory on every side. Hello, we be your name. Zona Ashabada Bada Kala. Sweet Holy Spirit, we welcome you in a day like this. And we tell you we love you. Somebody go ahead and worship him. The power that raised Jesus from the dead, we say thank you. Thank you because you have done all things well. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty and accept our worship for in Jesus Christ precious name we worship Amen Echo Friends, now let's do this song together as we proceed in our Father's present this morning. Now let's go. Wake up. Now let's go. We give you Glory, Lord, as we honor you, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you, you are wonderful, you are worthy. O Lord, you are wonderful, you are worthy, O Lord. Once again, let's go. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are 
Wonderful, you are worthy, O oh Lord. You are powerful, you are mighty, Jesus. You are powerful, you are mighty, Jesus, you are wonderful, you are worthy, O Lord, you are wonderful, you are worthy, O This is Spirit Praise Daily Devotional and Spirit Praise Daily Devotional comes their way every morning to build up your spiritual capacity and network. It comes as a daily dose to strengthen your spiritual cables and wires and to keep you ablaze for God. All this is a kalash. And our topic for today says, Your trust in God is your greatest asset. Malia kagadabagadush. Ezuna na kalada bazi bragadush. Antarabaku rabashanda. Ezu hakale. So briefly this morning we take our Bible reading from Habakkuk chapter 3 verses 17 to 18. And the Bible says, Although the fig tree does not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the fields shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no head in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord, and I will joy in the God of my salvation. Awesome. <laughs> Friends, listen to me this morning. There is need to trust God at all times. Most often, the answers to your prayers may not come as expected, but you've got to trust Him and praise Him at all costs. Hear me, friend. Even though you don't have answers to those prayers you made, and it seems as if the heavens are sealed, hear me and hear me well. It's not time to summon God to court. Rather, it's time to trust Him and trust Him again. Come on, after all, your trust in him have no expiry date. If you trust him yesterday, you can trust him again today. Come on, Habakkuk says, even when I don't see the signals to my prayer request, even when the labor of the olive shall fail, I will not give up my trust and confidence in Jehovah. Rather, I will rejoice in the Lord and I will joy in the God of my salvation. No wonder a songwriter once wrote and we sing. Please, if you know this song, join me. Let's do it together. Mm, I'm gonna praise the Lord. The devil cannot stop me. I'm gonna praise the Lord. In every situation, in the wilderness, in the prison yard, I'm gonna praise the Lord for His mercy there forever. I'm gonna praise the Lord for His mercy there forever. I'm gonna praise the Lord. I'm gonna praise the Lord. Ah, the devil cannot stop me. Ziketepelegedush. I'm gonna praise the Lord in every situation, in the wilderness, in the prison yard. I'm gonna praise the Lord for His mercies that forever. I'm gonna praise the Lord. Old for his mercies are forever. I'm gonna praise the Lord for his mercies are forever. I'm gonna praise the Lord 
for his mercies that forever i'm gonna praise the lord can i encourage you to live with the knowing that you know that you are satisfied in god that you are satisfied in the god of your salvation listen to me friends your trust in god is the greatest asset you have on this side of eternity especially in this season when so many things are failing us globally listen to me again whatever it may cost you don't allow your confidence in God to diminish. I say that again. Whatever it may cost you, don't allow your confidence in Jehovah to diminish. The fig tree may not blossom. Trust him. No fruit in the vine. Trust him. Come on, no head in the stall. Trust him. Friend, he says, rejoice. After all, he got the times and seasons in his hands. And your times are in his hands. He has chosen to take responsibility of your tomorrow. Friend, the injunction is to rejoice. Even when the circumstances are not anything to be joyful for. God sent me this morning to tell you to rejoice. No child coming in that marriage. He says, rejoice in the Lord. No husband coming and you've been waiting for quite some time now he says rejoice in the lord no wife coming and you have waited for a while now he says rejoice your marriage has been passing through some serious trials he says rejoice in the lord no money for school fees the lord says rejoice in the lord no rent or mortgage he says rejoice in the lord that business that was initially doing well is almost at the point of liquidation. God says rejoice in the Lord. Zero income. He says rejoice in the Lord. No job. He says rejoice in the Lord. The application you sent in was torn down. He says rejoice in the Lord. The diagnosis is not in your favor even though you prayed about it. God says rejoice in the Lord your God. A song writer wants root and we sing if you know it please join me mm, i will rejoice in you and be glad i will exalt your name every day draw me after you and let us run together i will rejoice in you and be glad i will rejoice in you and be glad. I will exalt your name every day. Draw me after you and let us run together. I will rejoice in you and be glad. I will rejoice in you and be glad. I will rejoice. In you and be glad. Friends, as we pray, I encourage you again to make it a habit to rejoice in the Lord your God. Even though the fig tree does not blossom, that is the command and injunction. And it says, Rejoice in the Lord and be glad. A man like Job in Job 13, verse 15, would say, Though he slay me, yet I will trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. Can you imagine that? Friend, you've got to let God know you love him unconditionally and you are prepared to partner with him for life. So this morning as we pray, we we'll rejoice in the Lord. We we'll rejoice in the Holy Ghost. Even though the fig tree does not blossom, we will obey this uncommon injunction to rejoice in the Lord. I said we will obey this uncommon injunction to rejoice in the Lord our God. Let us pray. Since let's go in the Holy Ghost. He says rejoice. Even though the fig tree does not blossom. Somebody help me rejoice this morning. 
Father, we rejoice. Somebody rejoice in the Holy Ghost. No fruit in the vine. Rejoice. No fruit in the marriage. Rejoice. Application was turned down. Rejoice. Somebody join me. Rejoice. He said, Rejoice in the Lord. Not rejoice in anyone. Not rejoice in the situation. Not rejoice in yourself. But rejoice in the Lord. Come on, go ahead and rejoice in the Lord God Almighty this morning. He didn't say bind and lose this morning. He says rejoice in the Lord. So since let's rejoice. Let's obey this uncommon injunction. Your desired promotion is not coming forth. Rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. No partner looking your direction. He says rejoice in the Lord. You are devastated at the moment. But Jehovah is saying this morning, rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. Even though the victory doesn't blow on, he says rejoice. You did not do well in that cause. He says rejoice. The vehicle has been at the mechanic for weeks. He says rejoice. No money in that account. He says rejoice. The victory does not blow up. No fruit in the vine. The labor of the olive has failed. But Jehovah is saying rejoice. Father, we rejoice. We rejoice in the Lord. Jehovah, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Father, we rejoice. King Intana, we rejoice. The God whom with him all things are possible. We rejoice in you. Thank you, our Father. Be magnified. Be exalted in this day. Though the victory does not blossom, we make a pledge this morning that we will rejoice in the Lord at all times. Even though there is delay to our prayer request, we make a pledge we will rejoice in the Lord God, our salvation, and we will rejoice continually. We will praise you forever. We will magnify you forever. We will worship you unconditionally. We pledge to love you forever forevermore. Be thou exalted and be magnified and blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Make that amen louder from the other side. Amen. And I decree and declare to everyone who has listened to this broadcast today that you will rejoice in the Lord even though the victory does not blow on. Now hear the word of the Lord. May your heart felt of gratitude attract speedy answers to your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
Thank you, our God, and reign forever, the King that liveth forevermore. But we worshiped and we prayed with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Make that amen louder from the other side. Amen. I'm waiting to hear your testimony. Have a joyful day ahead in partnership with the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit.